Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about what are stop words. So stop words are the most common words in any natural language. For the purpose of analyzing text data and building NLP models, these stop words might not add much value to the meaning of the document. And generally, the most common words used in text are the, is, in, for, where, when, to, at, etc. You can consider this text string. There is a pen on the table. Now the words is, a, on, and the add no me meaning to the statement while passing it. Whereas words like there, book, and table are the keywords and tell us about what the statement is actually telling us to do and or what the statement is all about. An important note here is like we need to perform tokenization before removing any stop words. And we have already discussed tokenization in the previous videos. So you can refer from that video and come back here again. And here is a basic list of stop words you might find helpful. So you can refer from this that these are the generally used stop words or like the normal words in a English vocabulary. These are separated by space, so don't get confused. So you can pause the video and observe it carefully. Now the next question which come into our mind is like, why do we need to remove stop words? So it is quite an important question and one you must have in mind. So basically removing stop words is not a hard and fast rule in NLP. It depends upon the task that we are working on. For tasks like text classification, where the text is to be classified into different categories, stop words are removed or excluded from the given text so that the more focus can be given to those words which define the meaning of the text. Just like we saw in the above section, words like there, book and table add more meaning to the text as compared to the words is and on. However, in the tasks like machine translation and machine in text summarization, removing stop words is not advisable. So you must see what particular task you are working on and then only you have to decide whether you need to remove stop words or not. And here you can see, here are a few key benefits of removing stop words. So you can see, on removing stop words, data set size decreases and the time to train the model also decreases. Removing stop words can potentially help improve the performance as there are fewer and only meaningful tokens left. Thus, it could increase the classification accuracy. Even search engines like Google remove stop words for the fast and relevant re retrieval of data from the database. Now, the next question which will come is like when we should remove stop words. So, you can see I have summarized this into two parts when we can remove stop words and when we should avoid doing so. So you can see in removing stop words, we can remove stop words by performing the following task. So whenever you are working for, for a problem like text classification, spam filtering, language classification, genre classification, caption, caption generation or auto tag generation. So if you are performing any of these tasks, any one of these tasks or more, you can remove the stop words. As for example, if I'm performing spam filtering, whether to classify a mail as a, sp a spam or not, uh, it is not uh, very important for me to consider the stop words because if it is a spam or not, I can just look into the more important words and classify it as a spam or not. So basically in this case, I don't think that sp uh, stop words are important. That's why we can remove them. And now we, if we look the cases when we should avoid stop word removal are machine translation, language modeling, text summarization, or question answer problems. Feel free to add more if you want to add on this list. So if I consider a case when I'm performing a machine translation task, I if I want to translate one particular thing into another particular thing. So in that case, the removal of stop word should be not be accepted because there are the cases where stop words can help us to analyze like what the exactly text is telling us to do and then only we can translate the entire text. So based on these categories or based on these tasks if you are performing, I would highly recommend that you should not or you should avoid stop word removal.
Now next we are going to see the different methods to remove stop words. In this lecture, we will only discuss the two important methods. One is by using NLTK library and another by using Spacey library. So let's start with stop word removal using NLTK. So as we all know, NLTK or, Nang or Natural Language Toolkit is a treasured trove of a library for text pre-processing. It's one of my favorite Python libraries and NLTK has a list of stop words stored in 16 different languages. Yes, you heard me right. On 16 in this in 16 different languages. Now how to see what are the different words stored in NLTK library? So you can first import NLTK library and from nltk.corpus you can import the stop words function and then you can print out the stop words stored in English language if you're consider only for if you're consider for only English language then you can pass the English as a argument let me show you with the help of an example so now you can see I have imported NLTK then I have NLTK.download stop words because I want to download stop words from NLTK library and from NLTK.corpus I have imported stop words and I have printed it so you can see like here are the words stop words which are stored in NLTK library. Now next what we are going to see, we will just take a random text. Suppose I take a text for example, how to remove stop words with NLTK library in Python. Now based on this particular text, I will remove all the stop words which are occurring in this particular text. So let us see how to do that. Now as you can see, from nltk.corpus I've imported stop words, then from nltk.tokenize I imported word tokenize because I've, as I have mentioned earlier, like before removing stop words, we need to perform tokenization. Now I've taken this random text, example text, how to remove stop words from, with NLTK library in Python, then I've printed the text, then I've converted each text to lowercase and to split it into the list of words. Then I have tokenized the entire text and all the English stop words which you can see here in the NLTK library I have copied into variable English stop words now next I have taken tokens for W stop words then I have ran this one particular loop in which I have traveled to uh, the tokens list in which each of our word is uh, uh, considered as a token so whenever I am traversing now when I am traversing to this entire token list if I found a particular word which matches in the uh, English stop words list so I will remove that particular word and the word which is not present in this English stop words list will get printed this is how I have printed the text which does not contain the stop words now when I run this block you can see the output as shown Now you can see these are the tokens, how to remove which I have converted my text into the tokens of respective words. Then text without stop words is remove stop words from NLTK library. These are the words which does not contain the stop words. And this is the output. This is how we remove stop words with the help of NLTK library. Now the next method which we are going to see how to remove stop words by using the Spacey library. Now as you know Spacey is one of the most versatile and widely used libraries in NLP. We can quickly and efficiently remove stop words from the given text using the Spacey. It is, it, it is also having a list of its own stop words that can be imported as stop underscore words from spacey.lang.n.stop underscore word class. So basically Spacey library also come with come with its own set of stop words. So now let us see how to remove stop words in Spacey library. So you can see here I first installed Spacey. So in order to install I use pip install Spacey. Now after it gets installed I have imported English from the Spacey.lang.an because I will be working with English language. Now again, I'll be performing first tokenizer task. So for I have, I have taken NLP equals to English bracket, which is like performing loading English tokenization, uh, tokenizer, tagger, parser, NER and word vector. So this is how we do it. 
Then I have taken a random sample text, which you can see here. Now I have created an NLP object, which is used to create documents with linguistic annotation. So which is done by just passing that text, which you have and passing in the NLP function. This will just create the set of documents like and creating an NLP object. Now again, in order to perform tokenize, uh, tokenization in SPACI, you have to take an empty list and I have appended. So this is how we tokenize the English text here. Then from SPACI, I have imported the stop words. This is, these are the stop words which are been, uh, uh, which are the stop words which are comes from the SPACI library. Now I have created an empty list, which are the filtered sentence, which I will, which will contain all the words free from the stop words. And again, I use that loop logic. So again, it says that whenever it founds, whenever it founds a word, which is not in the stop words list, which are, or which is offered by Spacey, it will keep only those set of words and a word which matches, matches from the stop words list, it is going to delete it. And when I run this piece of code, here you can see the output. First is the token list and second is the list of words which are which does not contain any stop words. Now if you want to compare the stop words, the number of stop words which are being offered by NLTK or the stop words which are offered by Spacey. So these are the English stop words. These are basically from the NLTK library. And the second is for from the Spacey library. So we can compare how many stop words these both library offer. So when I run this piece of code, so you can see NLTK offer 179 stop words and Spacey library offers 326 stop words. So that means Spacey has more stop words in its dictionary, in its list, rather compared to NLTK library. And so, yeah, this was about the stop word and how to remove stop words using the NLTK and Spacey library. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.